and girls and those of us in between. Um, today we're going to be fighting while filming because the topic of discussion kind of provokes spiritual things to uh, elaborate on what those things are. Let's start out with some silly things I wrote down. This video is pronounced fa. If fractal faces find their foothold in fantasies of the faithless, then foreign phenomena from far-fetched fathoms forth fundamentally flawed fallacies that few can free their friends from. Let me repeat that again. If fractal faces find their foothold in fantasies of faithless, then foreign phenomena from far-fetched fathoms force fundamentally flawed fallacies that few can free their friends from. Got it? On that note, here's the deal. Most people who go on the internet searching for the answers are entering spiritual battles with merely intellectual armor. That is to say, you think you are simply going up against a human who is telling a lie. This is not the case. If it were the case, shit wouldn't be nearly as complicated. Okay? What's actually happening is you are blind to spiritual things. And because of this, what can be presented as data before you is highly manipulable. For instance, if one were to read the Bible, there are things in the Bible that you will not be able to see with your eyes until you have spiritually earned the right to do so. Then when you do, when you go back and read the Bible, you're like, How the fuck did I not see that? It's right there. And you feel that moment. I want to talk about take a few steps and then God takes you by the hand. That's the moment when God takes you by the hand and says, come on, baby bird, I'm going to feed you. Got plenty of worms around back. So, you're entering a spiritual battle with your research, okay? You are poking at sleeping beasts. And if you've played, like, Diablo or whatever the fuck video games you've played, uh, you probably have learned that that can be a bad idea. And the older the mystery... Chances are, the more powerful the being who's trying to keep it secret. All right, now, if you've seen, um, actually, I have a few videos that, that show fractal faces, okay, where normal, everyday, mundane reality happens to coincidentally meet the shape of some evil-looking fucking face or something. Is that a Pee Wee Herman noise? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> that one. That, that was all. I'd try it again, because I, I can kind of do a Pee Wee Herman laugh, but I don't want to risk failure, and just it's going to sound horrible if I fuck it up. Moving on, moving on. Moving on. Tangent. So, yeah, um, the thing is, trying to explain how to fight these beings can be just as antagonistic and therefore can, oh, slightly increase the odds of one losing their attention span. Um, Well, you know how spirits of sort appear in this reality 
not in vapor form or whatever. I'm talking just like, why did those bumps on that wall? Why did those leaves in that tree? I got creeped out. Suddenly I'm looking that way for no other fucking reason than that I was just creeped out. And I'm seeing a face. And there's been a lot of people on YouTube to post fractal intrusion into this reality. Okay. And what this has to do is whether or not you believe in them gives them power. Kind of a familiar concept for Christians. Okay, it's like praying to angels. Anti-angels are out there to steal your belief. Okay, and you know you can't clap your wings and another fairy's born. You have to actually learn how to prepare yourself. And to prepare yourself, there is no book you can really read other than to absorb the fundamentals. Judge not, lest ye be judged yourselves. Do unto others as they would have, as you would have them do unto you. Really, again, um, God is the creator. Okay, the idea that God has a presence within you—that is one presence among three. Okay. This idea has been twisted into the New Age philosophy of God is only within you, and we cumulatively manifest creation. While this is true in a very, very, very technical sense, and thus can be twisted to channel the energy that you would otherwise be manifesting your heaven, your heavenly reward with, Well, my wife's at the, at the lady doctor. She just texted me, so many pregnant bellies. She, she's mama. She's the mama. Anyway. She's everybody's mama. Literally and in character, kind of. What was I talking about? How do you know the suicide bomber has come out of the closet? He burst in the flames. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a sidetrack. Um, um, that's pretty fucking funny right there. I don't care who you are. All right. So the other day I met this guy named Dude, and he was like, "Dude," and I'm like, "That's you." And okay, never mind. Um, tangent, cosine, squared, squirrel. Oh, hey, a camera. I should probably, uh, pay attention. Anybody listen? <laughs> All right. Okay, enough goofiness. Maybe. You're never really too sure, are you? Shouldn't be. Faith managers. All right. So, getting back to what I was saying without being able to rewind or edit the video because I don't fucking do that kind of thing. Um, hmm. So, Let's talk a little bit about the boundaries. I know I've been asked recently, how does this particular aspect relate to the boundary? Well, see, when, when fractals appear, that's when your boundaries are being violated, girly man. Okay? No, I'm not calling you a girly man. I'm just... I, I like movie quotes. I don't know if nobody fucking noticed. Movies are great. Technology's great. Mankind is great. Y'all have done a lot of great things. Just stop pissing on each other all the time. And and this fucking planet would be perfect. There are so many blessings and benefits to this reality as it sits right now. I mean, like for instance, if you grew up in the 80s, 
Do you know how many technologies you got to see introduced, developed, and perfected? Well, I'm talking into a little black box that just stays on for like days at a time. It has a keyboard. It has internet. It, it has shit that I don't even fucking know about. Nor do I want to. Like, uh, I put a Java little Linux box on there and kind of rooted out all the bullshit off of my head. I like to talk like a moron because it's funny. Okay. To me, and apparently to like a thousand fucking people, Jesus Christ. Where? I'm hiding. Peekaboo? Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. I see, I told you I couldn't fucking refrain from being silly for that. Okay, 10 minutes, 10 minute video. Tell yourself this is serious, Sean. It, this is my serious face. Maybe not. Mmm. Fractal faces find their foothold in fantasies of the faithless. Then foreign phenomena from far-fetched fathom force fundamentally flawed fallacies that few can free their friends from. So you go and you do your research, right? And you find this thing that makes sense to your intellectual mind, right? And you think, aha! I've figured it out. I should go tell my friends. You might be dragging them down with you. And because you have no spiritual armor, because you have not walked the walk of blind faith to have God reveal himself personally to you, you're leading other people astray. You can become a blind shepherd without meaning to. Well-intentioned, you can become a blind shepherd. But the blind, leading the blind, will both walk the fuck off a cliff, won't they? See, what goes into your mouth comes out of your ass. But what comes out of your mouth can also be bullshit. Okay? That's in the book of Matthew. Hmm. Anyway. Yes, yes, yes. The baby Jesus invented the idea. If you talk a bunch of shit, you're full of it. Wait. No. Something like that. Yeah. So I guess that's what's really important. Um... What you really need to do is pray more. Okay? Listening to me talk on fucking YouTube videos can only help you so much. I could steer you in the right direction. But God the Father is waiting for you. Okay? Knocking at that door. Saying, I'll help you. I'll guide your whole life. I will lead you to the promised land. You can open that door and let him in. You'll have all the spiritual armor you need. Because to fight is to not fight. To win is to lose. And to have power is to realize that you have none. What you require, baby bird, is grace. When you have faith in God's protection, and oh yeah, I may just be a mere mortal and I have no power that my mere mortal mind can conceive of, but I have faith in God and his power and therefore you cannot stand against me, evil spirit. That's called grace. Now, as far as the boundaries are concerned, take a moment to realize that you are not in a fictional reality. 
you are not in a prison. You are not anywhere but God's creation. And to complain about your life in general is to complain about God's creation. Everything in this creation has a purpose. Everything in this creation has meaning. And to think that the solution to the challenges within this reality are to bitch at them like they're problems that they should not be is to take your power and replace it with complacency. Well, guess what? Your power is going somewhere. And unfortunately, for what you want, that power is going to the exact force that you're bitching about. It's taken that power from you and will continue to use it against you and everyone like you. And it's lie, it's reality, that intellectual conclusion that you led to, whether it be Nibiru or the Moon Matrix or whatever, the more people it can deceive, and the more people it can get you to deceive, the more that reality gains power. And somewhere, there is a star that is responsible for that plan, for that reality. Two different conspiracy theories. There's two different stars. I'll be fighting each other. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not going to think hard enough to tell you. Because I'm trying to keep talking and not getting it all out. Fight with one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> but see, picture that. An ancient being manifested as a star, okay? Therefore, basically crystalline and plasma in its vibration. Can move around the earth enough times to create multiple holograms. Can shapeshift, can move in high frequency, can be in many places at once, seemingly, okay? Well, these things have the tests that they must put you through. And those tests are whether to accept God, to accept love, to accept compassion, or to become judgmental, to become bitter, and to become complacent. Choose choose. Have faith and accept God's grace. And focus on what you're fighting for and pray for that reality instead. Thanks for watching. I'm Novin. You are humanity's only hope. So get moving. Peace.